Arlington traveled to Haldane, one of the largest schools in the state, against one of the smallest schools in the state, but Haldane also boasts one of the biggest trophy cases in New York State. The Arlington bus driver was a little worn out from the slow ride down. Haldane in the far court, they fell in the first game 25-23, trailed by four in this one, but rallied back to tie it at 15. That's when Arlington regrouped and took advantage of several consecutive unforced errors by the Blue Devils. And Arlington's front line was tough to get around. Annie Bedard had 10 kills. But the unforced errors by Hal Dane was really what did them in. Here's match point. Once again, an unforced error, and Arlington takes game two, 25-19. But Haldane is a scrappy team. Take a look at the all-out effort for this point. Katie Cunningham lays it all out with a brilliant dig. And watch Sarah Chirico, a diving attempt. Haldane was not going down without a fight. Cunningham finished with nine kills and eight digs. Chirico had eight digs and 13 assists. But Arlington was just too tough around the net. That's Kelly McLaughlin with four blocks and two kills on the night. Kelly Vajos had three blocks for Haldane. Arlington nursing a 16-14 lead when the unforced errors started cropping up again for Haldane. Here's match point. Jamie Stevens rocks it just inside the baseline, and Arlington wins it in straight sets, 25-23, 25-19, and 25-18 over Haldane. And despite the loss, Haldane coach Melissa Rossano likes what she saw. Yeah, I think our team was very scrappy tonight. Uh, we, we didn't let a ball hit the ground without one of us going for it. There were a bunch of plays where we even surprised uh, Arlington that we got the ball back over the net. And I, you know, I think the, the girls realized that they can, they can get the ball a lot of times, which was a weakness for us coming into tonight's match. Uh, many times we would just give up on the ball. So it's definitely a you know, step in the right direction for us. I think we just need to win the bigger rallies. And once we do win the bigger rallies, uh, not miss as many serves as we had. We hit, we hit the net a lot of times uh, and we missed a lot of serves. So the unforced errors really were our downfall tonight. Playing against a team like this has got to make you guys better for your season coming up. Definitely, for sure. We love we love big competition. It makes us, it gives us the drive to win. When we play like smaller schools like like us that are not as well trained or not as well you know adept to the new teams that we have this year, it's it's still a game. Like we still play hard, but it's harder to motivate yourselves and motivate your team. Last time I saw you guys was that first game against John Jay. Much different now, I think. Yeah. What are some of the things that you've worked on, that you've made strides with, that is the team now? Well, some things that are, are kind of hard to practice, uh, just are the mental capacity of it. Keeping our heads in the game after a bad play, um, just making sure that we get together as a team and we say, okay, let's move on. Let's get our pass one thing at a time, one serve at a time. So that's what we've been working on other than, you know, still continuing on with our skills. We definitely have been paying more attention to how we play in practice and just trying to be more competitive and be more focused about what we're doing on the court. <laughs>